there, friends. Today, we are going to learn more about butterflies. If you want to read along with us, you can download this lesson plan from our website, learnbright.org. What are butterflies? There are over 20,000 species of butterfly living on every continent except Antarctica. They can't live in Antarctica because butterflies are cold-blooded. Their bodies won't work correctly when below 55 degrees Fahrenheit or 13 degrees Celsius. So instead, most butterflies live in tropical rainforests with many bright, beautiful flowers that provide nectar to eat. A butterfly is an insect, which means it has three body parts, a head, a thorax, and an abdomen and six legs. But butterflies also have a feature that some other insects don't have. Wings! There are four stages in the life cycle of a butterfly. First, the female butterfly lays eggs on a plant. This is where a new butterfly will start its life. The egg is generally round or oblong, shaped like an oval and sometimes has ridges. Second, the egg hatches into a caterpillar called a larva. Caterpillars will have fascinating patterns or stripes on their bodies. They have to eat a lot of food to grow, so they start with the plant they hatched on. They grow so big from eating that they shed their skin four times before fully developing and moving into the third stage. In the next stage, the caterpillar is fully grown and forms a cocoon, becoming a chrysalis. This allows the caterpillar to hibernate and transform into a butterfly. Next, the caterpillar's tissues are broken down and butterfly parts start to form. During the fourth stage, the chrysalis opens to reveal a colorful butterfly. When the butterfly emerges from the chrysalis, its wings are soft and folded into its body. The butterfly takes about three or four hours to learn to fly. Butterflies have two types of color, pigmented and structural. Pigmented color is caused by chemicals that absorb and reflect light. For example, if the red and blue light is absorbed, and the green light is reflected, you will see green on a butterfly. Structural color is caused by the structure of a butterfly's wings. The wings have layers made from a see-through material called chitin and have thousands of tiny scales that reflect the light. When the light shines through the scales, the color images become more or less intense. In addition, the structure makes the color shift and change as the butterfly moves. We call this iridescence. Iridescence is when the color of something changes as the observer moves. Butterfly colors help butterflies attract mates, act as a warning signal for predators, and can provide a protective camouflage to help them hide. Some butterfly wings have ultraviolet patterns on their wings, which humans cannot see. Still, other butterflies can see the patterns and use them to distinguish or tell the difference between mates. What do butterflies eat? Because caterpillars need the correct vitamins and minerals to grow, they only eat leaves from certain kinds of plants. But once they transform into a butterfly, they drink nectar from flowers. Butterflies also drink water and fruit juice and get food from tree sap. They can eat dead and rotting animal matter as well, or other material found in the wild. Finally, butterflies drink from mud puddles to balance out all the sweet nectar they eat. This helps them get the necessary minerals and salt they need to live. A butterfly drinks from a flower or rotting fruit using a long tongue called a proboscis. The proboscis enables them to suck up all the nectar from the flower. 
A proboscis is like a straw. Butterflies live on liquid because it would be hard to suck up solids with their proboscis. Other interesting facts. For the first life cycle stage, female butterflies lay an egg on a plant leaf. But to help the eggs stay on the leaf and not roll off onto the ground, they attach them using a special type of glue. As humans, we have taste buds on our tongues that help us decide if something is sweet, salty, bitter, or sour. Butterflies have only a few taste buds on their proboscis. They also have some taste buds on their antenna. But the majority of their taste buds are actually on their feet. Why are butterflies important to the environment? Butterflies are fun to watch and they are essential for the environment. They and other pollinators, like bees, moths, birds, and bats, pollinate over 75% of the world's flowering plants. We depend on pollinators to help plants reproduce, strengthening the ecosystems by creating more biological diversity in nature. In addition, research into the size of butterfly populations let scientists know whether the ecosystem is stable or unbalanced. Butterflies are also an essential part of the food chain. They are found in large numbers during certain times of the year, providing food for birds, small mammals, and other insects. But butterflies are not just prey. They are also predators. Butterflies eat aphids, which helps control these pests. Like many other species, butterflies struggle with habitat loss. Much of their habitat has been lost to agriculture and urban development. Humans have torn up a lot of land to find natural resources, which has also destroyed some of the butterflies' habitat. The small spaces left over often do not provide enough food, shelter, or safety necessary to survive. Butterflies also struggle with climate change. Cues from the environment tell the eggs when to hatch, and unpredictable temperatures lead to unpredictable hatching times. If the eggs hatch too early, it could be disastrous for the caterpillars. Wow, we have learned some interesting facts about butterflies. Let's see what you remember. True or false? Butterflies drink from mud puddles. If you said true, you're right. Where are three places butterflies have taste buds? Butterflies have taste buds on their proboscis, antenna, and feet. Choose the word the author would say best describes the butterfly. A. Dull. B. Vibrant. C. Enormous. D. Endangered. E. Aggressive. If you chose B. Vibrant, you're correct. Excellent job, brilliant butterflies. If you are interested in cool facts about other creatures, make sure to check out learnbright.org for even more great lesson plans. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.